All right, so what makes our batch mixer better than the com competition out there? For one, the tub and mixer design is way more rugged and heavy duty than most of the competitors. The auger, the paddle, the paddle to tub interface is very tight. And with that, that gap right there. And that means that it empties the tub out much more at the end of the cycle, not leaving you with a big, basically, film of material that you have to manually remove. Um, you can see these paddles are super heavy duty steel, um, whereas a lot of the competition is just ribbons that are very light duty. Uh, additionally, the biggest improvement is the bagging attachment. This bagging attachment can easily switch between using the bottom valve right if you want to do say uh this would do about a seven pound fill this is the smaller six by six for like excellent or 14 a's three t's right and if you want to go ahead and bag out some four pound bags you flip this switch it disables the top one this will enable the middle one and now i'm doing four pound bags all right i want to go back to the other side or if i want to empty it if i want to empty it completely i turn both of them off and you can see it's a straight shot. That's a huge advantage because what happens is with other, the sliding tube mixers, baggers, if they get jammed, there's no way to unjam them without really having to get in there and pry at it and whatever. With this, if it gets jammed in here, you just flip both of these off, open it up. And if you have to get up in there with like a broomstick or whatever, get up in there with a broom or hose it out with a hose. Um, you can't do that with a, a sliding tube that's jammed in the back. Also, this is quicker. The, the other ones that have to slide the carousel, or not carousel, but the shuttle back and forth, that takes a couple seconds. This takes, this takes less than a, less than a half second for it to cycle, okay? Uh, also, adapters, we have adapters that actually are good. Um, so that goes down to a 4T, right? Or four, four size XLSA bag, or a unicorn bag. Uh, we also have the 10T bag, so if you want to bag out some spawn or whatever. This is, this is primarily for spawn because, like, substrate doesn't like to go through a reducer like that. Um, the height adjustment here is a big deal, too, because this, this goes up. This is on the lowest setting. There, there's supposed to be one more setting lower, but this goes up, like, four more settings. So you're bagging at chest height standing up, not sitting. Uh, you have this big worktop. You put all your bags over here that you're pulling off of. You put all the filled bags over here. Or you can do a conveyor coming off of this additionally. You would just rest the conveyor on this, just like how we have on our bagger. Uh, there is a bin that goes in these grooves for collecting all the junk that falls out. Um, and that way you're not making a mess on the floor. In the end, this is designed by a mushroom grower for mushroom growing. And it makes it a superior product. So let me know if you have any questions.